Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, the 30th of October, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Gerard Magella. Saint Gerard Magella was born in the year 1726 in southern Italy. He was born to a poor farmer and being born in the poor family, he grew up in humility and also in devotion and faith. He was very contemplative from his very young age. And at the age of 23, he joined the Redemptorists as a lay brother. Joining them, uh, he, he used to lead a life of prayer, a life of contemplation and a life of uh, meditating upon the mysteries of God. He was blessed with a lot of gifts such as uh, alleviation, that is floating in the air while he prays, by location, invisibility, prophecy, and also power over demons and evil spirits. He was blessed with a lot of gifts by the Lord because he was always uh, desiring for God. So it was so that whenever he used to go with uh, the priests for missions, the elderly priests used to give sermons. But he, through his exemplary life, would ha convert many more to the Lord. And that's how Gerard Majella was known for his holy life, for a simple life and a life which brought much more, many more people towards the Lord. And during the end of his life, Gerard Majella continued to be in the Lord, continued to walk in the paths of the Lord and he died. He died leaving his breath in the hands of God. Two things that he speaks very clearly about is one is about sufferings. He says if you have to suffer for something, suffer for God, so that your God will become a way to your sufferings will become a way to heaven for you. And the other thing he speaks is to see the will of God in everything. He says that if I seek after the will of God in everything, then there is no scope of me uh, getting uh, lost. So, it's the will of God, to discern the will of God is the most important and primary thing in the human's life. This is what he believed, preached and lived. So, dear brothers and sisters, today as we commemorate the memory of Saint Gerard Machella, let us take these things to mind. His life of contemplation, his life of simplicity, his desire to do the will of God and his desire to be closer to God all his life. May Gerard Machella teach us to please God through our life. Amen.